Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Say Ming and welcome back to my channel. So I already know why y'all are here. Y'all are like, how in the hell did she get her bathroom from this to this? Okay, but I'm gonna show y'all. So we gotta run to the store real quick, get some stuff so we can come back and fix this thing up. Okay, so now that we're back home, we can go ahead and start. I'm going to be starting with the shower. Picked a few things up from Marshalls. Y'all, look at these shower hooks. These are so cute. I found these for clearance. I think they were like $7, $8. I really can't remember, but super cute. I'm going to go ahead and take down that old curtain. I was so ready to get rid of this thing, y'all. I got the hooks from the Dollar Tree, so they were already breaking. And I just can't wait to go ahead and put this on there. Also, this curtain could actually be used as a liner or the actual shower curtain. It is fabric material, so if it ever gets dirty, I can always throw it in the wash, put a little bleach on it, and hopefully get it really clean. Um, I decided to just use it as both a shower curtain and a liner because I'm not really a big fan of having two curtains. So I just wanted to be simple and just do one. But to each its own, this is just what I prefer to do. I actually stole this shower caddy from my mama's house. Well, I really didn't steal it. She gave it to me. But I'm just putting my soaps and razors and just small little essentials. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my bath mat on the floor. This is the, one of those mesh soft ones. So I think it's going to be real comfortable and I can't wait to use it. So this is my first Chanel piece. I made it, you guys. As you see here on the left, I'm taking you through the process. I used a Cricut machine to make this design. And y'all, the Cricut machine is the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm out here making designer canvases for dirt cheap, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just place the canvas over my toilet so I can now do my toilet tray. Look at it. It's so cute. I'm sorry, but what is a bathroom without a toilet tray? My mom got me this plant as a housewarming gift, and y'all won't believe I found a flower pot for dirt cheap at Value Village, and it fits the plant perfectly. I don't even got to say nothing. Just look at it. It looks so good. So I found this really cute uh, candle holder idea on Pinterest, and if you're anything like me, Pinterest is the truth. Like, I stay on Pinterest. I just love finding cute little designs and different DIY projects, lifestyle stuff. So I stay on Pinterest and you guys won't believe how much stuff I have in my pens. But I did want to recreate this um, cute candle holder idea and I think I did a pretty good job. Um, I used some decorative fillers and a white candle to go in there, just how it looked on the picture. So I think it came out really nice. What do y'all think? I'm gonna also go in and put these multicolored uh, decorative fillers I did end up changing these out in the end. I actually put um, some white rocks that I got from Michaels in there instead. But this is also an option, so you guys will see both. To keep the whole Chanel theme cohesive, I decided to go with black bath rugs instead of white. I wanted to do white, but then I just got to thinking white gets dirty over time and it's just not going to look good. So black was the better option. And I think it actually did a lot better. It definitely tied the room together with the black canvas on the wall. Originally, I just bought these tiles to bathe with. But once I decided I wanted to do a Chanel bathroom, I just thought these were perfect for an accent color. Um, I didn't have a tile design or like how they make those cute folds and stuff. I didn't have one in mind. The one that I did have, it didn't work. So I was kind of stuck on this part, but I actually used the white ribbon that comes from Target once you buy the washcloths. And I just tied it up on the bottom 
and just kind of made it do what it do. But I don't really like it. I'm not too fond, but it'll work. So I'll just probably go back and change it later on. But it was really cute. It was nice. So I have some more small Chanel canvases that I made from the Cricut. And I have a custom piece that I actually sketched, painted, and everything. I call this the Black Anna Wintour. Um, I wanted to put it in my bathroom, but when I got to thinking about it, y'all, I have feathers on her. I added that as like a 3D texture. And I don't want the steam from the shower to hit the feathers and then they fall. So I just decided to put her in another room. Last, but certainly not least, my counter area. I put a black towel over there just so it balances out between the wall and the counter space. Um, and I'm also going to be putting some black bathroom essentials like trash can, soap dispenser, and a toothbrush holder. And this is my favorite part, y'all. This is the vase. I cricketed this vase, and I also got some white flowers and made this beautiful bouquet and vase combo. It looks so good. And I'm gonna use this tray that I've had for a while and I had it in my room at first, but I think it'll look better in my bathroom. And I also have these small um, Chanel candle holders that I've had for a while as well. So at this point, I'm just kind of switching things out, seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, but I'm basically done. So I will come back and show you guys the results. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for supporting it to the very end. If you guys want to see more lifestyle things on my channel, please make sure to like and comment down below. Also, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and turn that bell button on so you get a notification every time I drop a video. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed week, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.